guys welcome back to my channel so last night I watched the Victoria's Secret fashion show with my best friend we drank wine ate cheesecake it was a good time today I wanted to recreate one of the angels looks and the angel that I chose to recreate was Candace because her look was more natural and it's just really really pretty and I think it's gonna look great on everyone I do want to address that I do show um, a little parts of my bra here and there <laughs> you know me in real life I'm very modest I don't like show cleavage ever like this is as much cleavage as I show it was for the sake of the video it is Victoria's Secret it's about bras and panties and as promised like always the products that I use in this video will be listed down in the description bar along with all my social media and if you guys are wondering about my hair extensions I'm wearing, I will leave those details also down in the description bar as well if you want to get the runway look that I'm wearing right now then just keep watching see you in a second <laughs> Hello beautiful ladies. So I already did my foundation routine. If you want to see how I do my foundation, then click that video and come back. So the first eyeshadow that I'm working with is a light cream color, kind of close to your skin tone, putting it in the inner corner and below your eyebrow. Then we're going to take a gold color and put it on our lid, smudging it into our crease. And I'm going to go on ahead and apply more of this gold color because we want this to really stand out. Taking a dark brown color and a contouring brush, we're going to concentrate this color on the outer parts of our eye, going in small circles towards our tear ducts, and then I'm going to blend it out with a big fluffy brush because we want this to have a smoke effect on the eyes and look really natural. Now to make your eyes pop even more for that runway, take a gold glittery color pigment with a flat brush and spray the setting spray on the brush so that the glitter has something to stick to. I'm demonstrating putting my finger underneath my eye because the pigment does have a lot of fallout. So then I'm patting this gold color right on top of the gold eyeshadow that we applied before. Now take a highlighting pencil and highlight above and below your eyebrows to make your eyebrows stand out. And it's also great to highlight our inner corner. This is going to make the eyes look really open. Then take some brown liquid eyeliner and outline your eyes. And then I'm taking a brown pencil and lining the inner parts of my eyes as well. Now it's time for mascara. You can use these lashes. I did not because I don't have any lash glue for some reason. So I use my two favorite mascaras. Bam! I want this look to be soft and glamorous, so I'm taking a light hand with the same dark brown color and tracing the lower lash line. Now you're doing this very lightly because you want it to turn out like a soft brown, so it's really smoky and really nice. Then to correct any fallout that you might have had, I'm taking a concealer and lightly just rubbing it underneath my eyes and setting it with a powder so it lasts all night. Now so you don't get washed out underneath those bright lights, take a dark brown color to contour with in the hollows of your cheeks. I'm also going to do my temples and my neck as well. You should also contour along your collarbones, this will really make them pop. Then take a small fluffy brush and contour the sides of your nose. This will really add some dimension to your face. Now take a light peachy pink color and put it on the apples of your cheeks. Just slightly smile and move the brush up towards your ear. Let's make your cheeks really pop. We're going to do this taking a cream gold highlighter. This one's from Benefit. I love it. And you're just going to go on the tops of your cheeks and around your eyebrow. Also do your nose and your cupid's bow. This is going to make your face just look really glamorous like you're ready for that runway. Then we're going to set it with an illuminating gold powder so that it lasts all night. 
Candace always has a nude color underneath her lip gloss, so to get that Victoria's Secret pout, we're going to take the lip liner, outline your lips, and shade in the outer parts of your lips as well. This is going to make them appear and look even larger than what they really are. And then to finish off this makeup look, you're going to take a light pink shimmery lip gloss and apply it right on top. Now your hair is optional. You can wear it straight, you can wear it curly. I did apply my hair extensions, which the information, like I said in the beginning, will be in the description bar. And I'm taking a teasing comb and just lightly teasing my hair. And I just think this finishes off the look. It makes it complete.